project this project is from Oliver, that's me, Rob, Addy, Lily, and Lena. We will be showing you a great trap. This is similar to a crab trap. There is an underwater structure in the trap, which is made of hard plastic. There will be dead or alive mollusks behind the underwater structure. That will attract the lionfish to come in. And now Rob and Lily will tell you how it works. There's an overlapping closing gate, and there's a boat on top with a wheel. Now to Lily. You reel the string to close the gate. To close it. Trapping the lionfish. Our group trap is a hand-powered trap included with rope, two buckets, some duct tape, and soft nets for capturing the lionfish and lowering their population. And here are some questions for Emerson, the main designer of the lionfish trap. So, Emerson, what gave you the most inspiration for your trap? Well, that's a good question. The dome trap gave me the most inspiration. Okay, next question. How do you think it will attract the lionfish? I think that it will attract the fish because it's a colorful structure that looks like a coral reef. Interesting. Jack, do you have any questions? How does your trap not harm the environment? I plan not to not harm the environment by the ropes attached to the person so it won't hurt the fish or the coral reefs. That concludes our interview. I hope this trap helps lower the lionfish population. Have a nice day. Our group is here interviewing Aubrey. The person whose trap was chosen to send to you. We will be asking her questions about her design. Is the trap very big? Yes, the trap is very big, so it should be able to hold a lot of lionfish. How does this trap not hurt the coral reefs and other fish around it? The, the trap will not hurt the coral reef because it, because it is not near the coral reef, and it will not hurt the fish because the fish are not attracted to the underwater structure. How is the trap connected to the underwater structure? It is connected by glue. Will the trap stay with glue? Yes, it will. How many fish do you think it, it can hold? As many as possible. How does this trap attract and trap the lionfish? And the trap works, and how it works is you pull the string and then it traps the lionfish. We, we hope you like, like our presentation! presentation. how bad the lionfish problem is. So Arabella, can you tell us the problem? Well, the problem is that lionfish are invading the Indian River Lagoon, and they are eating the, the important fish that help the environment of the Indian River Lagoon. So the lionfish are destroying the food chain of the Indian River Lagoon. Well, that's a bad problem. Now, now to, to Sophia, Sophia with the questions. So how did you guys design this trap, and what material did you use to make it? Hi, I'm Elsa, and our solution is a trap with desk shields, dead lionfish, more desk shield, and lactase fence. The desk shield is the outside of the trap. The dead lionfish is to attract other lionfish. More of the desk shield is the tunnel. And the lactase fence is to hold the tunnels. Now some facts. They eat snapper, grouper, flounder, mahi-mahi, tuna, Molluscus Well, that's a lot of food. They're nocturnal hunters. Their lifespan is 10 years. They can have 30,000 eggs in four days, and they can lay 2 million eggs per year. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. 
You can put 20 or more in one tank, but you have to add tiny fish. Thanks for taking your time to look at our lionfish, lionfish track. track.